Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about one of the largest projects we did for Hometown Takeover in Fort Morgan, and that was the brand new sign located just north of the historic Rainbow Bridge outside of town. Here's the original vision that the team provided us with. They wanted to incorporate wood and metal elements to reflect agriculture and industry here in Fort Morgan. So that's what we did. We gathered all of the wood and started assembling the rainbow part of the bridge first. This is the very crude beginning stages while everything was being assembled. We recruited the help of our little boy Ryder to hammer in some of the planks with his dad. There are no child labor laws with a small business as any of you entrepreneurs out there will attest to. But it wasn't hard to convince him. Ryder and I also helped Jason do the painting of the rainbow, bringing in all of those colors from the original artwork inspiration. Next up was the massive metal frame surrounding the entire sign. We utilized the help of our welder, Travis, from CT Fabworks to brainstorm how to bring this big structure to life. Per usual, Travis knocked it out of the park and got the base of the structure done in record time. From there, he got to work on attaching the new town slogan to the very top of the frame. All of these letters were individually cut out and had to be welded on to the structure one by one. The letters themselves were plasma cut by Midwestern Millwright, located here in Fort Morgan. They do a lot of work for us in addition to Travis. Once the frame was completely assembled and roughed out, it was powder coated a nice matte black color and loaded on the trailer to come to our workshop. It was no small feat to get the sidearm attached to the base once it was here. The entire town sign is 16 feet tall, so that really tested the limits of our poor John Deere tractor. The next phase of the project was cutting out the Fort Morgan letters. We felt so privileged to have Paige Turner join Jason at the workshop to start things off. Each letter was cut out of both cedar and metal, which were selected due to their durability in the outdoor elements. Obviously super important for a town sign. The most intricate part of the sign was the wooden crest that's located in the bottom right hand corner. Each piece of this crest was hand cut by a scroll saw out of wood and then finished with a really durable marine finish. We recruited the best in the business for this part of the project. Her name's Lizzie, look her up, House of Timber. With all of the individual elements complete, the only thing left to do was to haul the whole thing over to the rainbow bridge and get it installed. It was a family, friends, and neighbors kind of event, getting the sign up, tarped, and ready for the town to come for the big reveal. Jason even ran over to the neighbors to grab some hay so they could spread it around on the ground around it to make everything look green. The city really put on a big show for the reveal, bringing in lots of people and even some super cool old classic cars to parade across the old rainbow bridge right before the tarp was dropped. It was so fun to watch everybody come out in droves to support this new piece of the town. While a town sign was out of our comfort zone, we are so grateful for the opportunity to have crafted something that is going to make such an impact on our community for years to come. If you are headed into town on Highway 52, take a look to your left and tell us what you think. Please don't judge the amateur attempt at our first video blog. We promise to keep doing it and keep getting better as time goes on. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.